Hello everyone, I have decided to make uh, this video to help those people who want to export a layer from Map Info to Google Earth. There are two ways that you can export uh, a layer from Map Info to Google Earth. You can export uh, if a layer is um, a KMZ and you can as well export as um, um, a KML file. So a KML I'll show you in a few minutes I'll show you what uh, a KMZ file would look like if imported to Google Earth and I'll also show you how a KML will look like if imported to Google Earth. So to begin with I will show you how you can export a map info tab file to a KML file in Google Earth. So to do to do so, uh, you to do that you need to go to tools. You have to enable a Google Earth utility which is found under tools. You go tools, tools manager. Um, then. Uh, you come to uh, Google Earth Connectivity Utility and then you check this box and click OK. So I'll say um, after after this, you know, after after doing that, uh, what you do, you come and select this. Uh, you come and select this layer. In mapping for what you do to select both uh, Polygons. What you do is you click Shift, you press Shift, and uh, you s you just select using the mouse, you uh, using the cursor. And uh, after selection, what you do, you come to Map, and you say, you see, you will see this Google Earth link, and then you say Export to Google Earth, and you see it will ask you, uh, do you want to export a map? Is a raster image a, a JPEG or export it as a KML? Then you say KML. Uh, if you export it, if you export it as a KML, it will go as um, a polygon in Google Earth. Let's see what happens if I click OK. Uh, the other thing that um, Map Info gives you as option is to uh, to name the layers like the way it is here you see it is uh, this polygon is named Kishiri and uh, this one is called Chumbati so if you, uh, you uh, if you leave it like this then it will just uh, say that the layer are mapping for safety object but if you come here and this you specify what uh, the name of the polygon uh, should be and then you can change this and say size or you leave it as a name if you want the names to appear and uh, you select where you want to save your file for my case I will save it in my computer local disk D um, my interests then I'll come to Google YouTube YouTube references and click OK then I'll click OK you can as well put here the name of the file say um, let's say these polygons you say uh, boundaries of villages and then you click OK if uh, your Google Earth is not opening. Uh, this will open uh, Google Earth automatically. You see, it's now being opened. I'll just close out of this one. Let's close out of this one.
so easy you see now boundaries of villages is here and um, you can as well on the properties change so that uh, I say uh, style and color I say style I just want uh, outlined and uh, maybe thicken the boundaries and uh, you can say maybe uh, let's give it give it another color let's say red or blue we'll click OK you see it's OK so that's it if you want uh, that is it and um, um, this means this file is already saved in your uh, in the in, in the dire directory that you wrote uh, when you were exporting this file um, the other way is um, exporting this as a km kmz and uh, what you do if you want to export as a kmz you come to map and uh, this time you don't select uh, the polygons and you say export to google earth uh, and um, you see it doesn't give you many options and uh, it gives you the option to say the, to say the fact boundaries of villages let's give it a two and uh, you click ok this one will cover you see that that one did not cover uh, that one appeared as a layer which you can um, which you, you can play with it and uh, change colors you see uh, the way this one has come it's like an image mm. it's an image and you can't do anything you see you see properties um, it doesn't give you the option to change the colors or what because it's, it has come like an image but in that particular area of google earth uh, if you like this video uh, don't forget to like um, and they subscribe for other videos like this leave a comment or a question and I'll try as much as possible to answer you thank you for watching